Hello folks and welcome back to the channel. I have recently received many comments asking me to do an updated tutorial for setting up and installing profiles for the Sidewinder X1 3D printer in Cura 4.7. So by popular demand, here you go. This is the tutorial for the Windows version of Cura and I will be doing it on Windows 10. If you use Windows 7 or 8, the process should be very similar, but your mileage may vary. If you are on a Mac or use Linux, this may not help you, and I would recommend finding a tutorial for those specific operating systems. For starters, you will need to completely uninstall any previous versions of Cura from your PC. So, if you have any custom profiles that you would like to carry over, export them now and store them in a safe place on your computer so you don't lose them. After you're done with that, go ahead and uninstall whatever version of Cura you have using the Add or Remove Programs feature in Windows. This can be accessed by simply going to the Windows search bar and typing Add in it. You will see the icon for it show up on the top of the menu here. Click on it and it will open the Apps and Features window. Type Cura in this search bar or scroll down till you see Ultimaker Cura and then click on it. Then click on Uninstall until it asks you if you want to remove all your configuration files. Click Yes. When the uninstall is finished, go ahead and click close and close the apps and features window. This won't completely uninstall the program. You will also need to navigate to the install directory for Cura. By default, it is C program files. Find the Ultimaker Cura folder and delete it. Close that window and go back to the Windows search bar and type percent app data percent and hit enter. Find the Cura folder, delete it, and close this window. Now you can go ahead and download Cura 4.7 and the profile and definition files from the links that I have provided in the video description. From the Cura website, click on download for free, then click on the Windows 64-bit option and click download now. And from this page, just click on the green download button. When the downloads are complete, close your browser and navigate to your downloads folder and execute the Cura install file. And when the install is finished, be sure to uncheck Run Ultimaker Cura and click Finish. Now right click on the Profile zip file Click on Extract All from the drop-down and Extract. Open the Extracted folder, then in a separated window, navigate to the Install Directory. Then open the Resources folder. Go back to the Profiles folder and highlight these five folders. Drag and drop them into the resource folder and ensure do this for all current items is checked, then press continue. When this is complete, close these two windows, then go ahead and open Cura. The first thing you will see is the Cura welcome dialog. Click on get started, agree, next, and next. Skip this if you don't have an Ultimaker account. Next, the Add Printer window will appear. Click on Add a Non-Network Printer and scroll down till you find Artillery. Click on it and select Artillery Sidewinder X1, then click Next. Then the Machine Settings window will appear. All the required info will already be populated, so go ahead and click Next. Maximize the window and you should see a silhouette of the Sidewinder in the window. From here, go to Preferences, then click on Configure Cura. Select the Profiles option, then click on Import. Navigate to the Downloaded Profiles. Select a profile and click Open. A window will appear stating that the import was successful. Click OK to close it, and you will see the imported profiles listed under Custom Profiles. Do this for any remaining profiles you would like to use. On the top right, click on this dropdown, then select Custom. Now you will see a profile drop-down. 
From here, you can pick from your list of custom profiles or the default profiles. And that's it. Now you are ready to start slicing and printing models with your Sidewinder X1 3D printer. If this was helpful, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. And as always, thanks for watching.